we will discuss another topic in thermodynamics. And the topic is energy, a property of the system. So first of all, consider three processes. There is a state one and there is a state two. Now from some the thermodynamic all one process A and this state 2. This is process A. Similarly, from 2 to 1, there is another process B. And 2 to 1, there is another process C. We have to stay, find state that integral, cyclic integral delta E is equal to 0. And uh, how to get, how to prove that B is equal to 0. First of all, consider the first, apply first law of state 1 to state 2. QA is equal to delta A plus WA. And uh, QB is equal to delta EB plus WB. QC is equal to delta EC plus WB. Okay. Now, cyclic integral of DQ is equal to J cyclic integral of DW. Or <clears throat> WA plus WB. If you consider this cycle, this is equal to QA plus QB. Now he, here we have delta EA is equal to QA minus WA. Now, from this equation, QA minus WA is equal to QB minus WA. Okay. Now, delta EB similarly is equal to QB minus WB. So this is W. So from these two equations, QB minus WB is equal to QA minus WA. QA minus sorry, this is plus minus WB minus W. From this we we'll get that delta E is equal to minus delta EB. And similarly, if you apply from 2 to 1 for process 3, delta EC is equal to QA minus WC. From this equation and from this equation, Delta EC is equal to delta EB, which is equal to minus delta EB. From this, we can prove that cyclic integral of D is equal to 0. So, the process in going from here to here and from considering this to here, delta EA is equal to minus delta, delta, delta EA is equal to E2 minus E1 
and delta E B is equal to E one minus E two. So cyclic integral of our delta E is equal to E two minus E one plus E one minus E two, which is equal to zero. Hence proof. So delta E is equal to zero. This is what I would like to prove in this today's session. Thank you for watching the video.